Okay, first up, Larkin Ostman, the 2013 Canadian Junior Champion in her first Senior Grand Prix event. opens her program with a plan triple sow triple toe combination what I do when I'm triple sow unable to check the free side on the landing double threes and only gets a single toe off it is a requirement that it's at least a triple and a double or a triple in combination so she will get zero points for that jumping pass Really quick in, doesn't allow that flip to take off to the top. They will definitely take a look at that landing in the instant replay. The continent of Europe is so wide, mine hair. Not only up and down, but side to side, my man. But I do what I can, inch by inch, step by step, mile by mile. Man. Much better on the double axle. Bye, bye. Larkin Osman, just 19 years old, coming off her best finish at Senior Nationals. She was just off the podium in 2017, placing fourth. Struggling a bit with those jumps. It's very difficult, especially in your first Grand Prix, to have to open the event, skating first, the pressure of being in front of the home country crowd. You could just see that she was a little bit stiff. And the triple sal on the combo really went up nicely, but just was not able to check out soon enough. You, then all of a sudden you don't get the combo in and you have to come right back around for that triple flip. It's a difficult place to be, but if she wants to be up against the top ladies, that's a situation that you have to be prepared for. Canada has three spots for the ladies at the Olympics. Uh, she's got a website raising some money for her efforts to make the Canadian Olympic team, but acknowledges that uh, 2022 might be a more realistic option. And here's a look at that opening combination. You can see as she checks out from the sow, she had plenty of space, but the left shoulder got behind the left hip, and that's not a place where you can reach back and get that triple toe. So she went with the safer play, doing the double three, and still could not get enough momentum. So that single toe just hurts so much because then all of a sudden, on your triple-triple, where you're getting the most points in the short program, you walk away with a goose egg. Larkin skated at a Challenger Series event earlier this fall, scored a 94.31. So we'll see how, what direction she's moving in here at Skate Canada. Thank 
the shorter ramp score. 41.79. Actually, that 91 was for her free skate. It was a 50.22. So um, I, this is lower, but uh, certainly not as much lower as I would have led you to believe. And with Canada only having three spots, you have Daleman and Osmond on the world podium and Elaine Chartrand. She needed to step up to make her case.